Yeah, so I know that the Wild have looked at trading Dumba in the past. I will only, like, I'll say that the Wild, I think they're trying to go for, like, a, a playoff run here or, like, try to be a decent playoff team. Like, Elliot Freeman brought it up that the Wild could be a team to trade for Bo Horvat right now. So they talked about it at intermission, talking about who will trade for Bo Horvat, where Horvat will end up, and that he will get traded. And Elliot Freeman said the Wild now and Boston Bruins in the offseason. So Bergeron will be done, potentially, and Horvat will be that replacement. So if that's the scenario, I could see maybe in terms of cap, Dumba going the other way, just because like if the Canucks don't want to retain money and they want a guy on that right side that maybe will stay past this season, Dumba could be a candidate for the Canucks and maybe the Wild look at like a Luke Shen or something or another guy on that defense core. Um, but I do think there's a heavy scenario where the Wild still trade Dumba but again, I think it's it's dependent on the health of the defense and who they feel comfortable with. If they feel comfortable with a guy like Addison, stuff like that. Uh, but I do think it's interesting that Horvat is now... It's right from Ed, Elliot Freeman's mouth. Uh, Stewart alluded to the fact that Merrick brought it up. Edmonton could be a target for Horvat. Uh, but I also think Edmonton could be a target for Dumbo. We've talked about another right shot guy for Edmonton. So no, there's so many funny scenarios. I know even... Like Edmonton, but I know Ottawa has talked about Dumba. So between Ottawa, Edmonton, Vancouver, three Canadian teams there, I could see all three targeting a Matt Dumba. Uh, but a top six forward, I think Bo Horvat could be a target for Minnesota. But you know what? I still love the potential of Brock Besser for Minnesota too. So it, it's just, I think they see the gap a little bit up the middle because they've shifted Hartman to the wing and Frederick Goudreau's had his time. So I, I think they're trying to debate on like their long-term picture with Rossi and if Frederick Goudreau fits into that mold at all or if Goudreau or Hartman are even up the middle. But if they could get... I, I know this for the while, like even just what Freeman said, like if they could get Horvat plus create the cap space to re-sign him and they would just not re-sign Dumba, they would do that in a heartbeat. And I think they'd be willing to trade like a first and a prospect or two to get a Horvat if it meant locking him up long-term. So that's another scenario, but that was really interesting from Friedman tonight, even more so just saying like the wild now and that the Bruins could keep Horvat long-term if they were to sign him in the off season.